Hey everyone! Oh my god, it's been so long since I filmed. I know, I am so, so, so sorry. It has been like two months, probably, and a lot has happened. I am finally in a new location, as you can see. I have finally moved to London. It's been talked about for so long that it felt like it wasn't going to happen, and a lot of things have happened. There's been letdowns, there have been people who I thought were moving in with me, and vice versa, to the point where I felt like, just sort it out on your own. Don't rely on people. Just go and move into your own place because people are not as reliable as you think. And I know it's a lot more expensive. If you know about London, London is very expensive to live in. But if you want to do it, you just have to just close your eyes and do it. And I actually moved like a month ago, or probably five weeks now, from Manchester. Um, and I've only just gotten a place like two weeks ago. Basically, if you don't know, I kind of explained it on Instagram, but if you didn't know, I got a flat and I, everything was sorted. I paid the deposit, I paid the first month's rent and all that stuff. I got all my stuff down from Manchester. My dad drove it down with all my stuff. I had a lot of stuff, especially like loads of shoes. You should probably see some of them already. So I went to the flat, I tried to open the door and the keys wouldn't work, which was really, really strange. So I called the agent guy, he came down with his set of keys. His keys didn't work and he was a bit confused because he'd been to the flat the day before to sort everything out and make sure everything was fine. So we went back to his office and I was there for hours. Like my dad was literally getting very, very impatient. And we finally got told that the landlord of the flat had decided to change the locks without letting the agency know and he was gonna sell the flat. So there's me not having any idea about this, getting to a flat and being told I couldn't move in and I literally had brought all my stuff from Manchester, from my parents' house and I couldn't move in and I was just like... It took me a while to really like get to grips with it because I didn't think they were actually even being serious. Like I paid like over two grand like and that was it. I was like, uh, so what am I supposed to do now? Like I don't have another option. I'm not going back home. I refuse to move back home. So while this was happening, my stepmom was like literally googling them, the agency, and only found out that they had loads and loads of bad reviews from other tenants, other landlords, and she told me like literally leave, try and get your money back, get out and find some else because I felt like there could have been a lot more stuff down the line if I stayed with them. And this was God's way of trying to get me out of a really bad situation. So as much as it really, really, it was really, really like inconvenient I could have saved myself a lot more of horribleness that could have come with being with them so I didn't know anybody like I had loads of stuff and I had a friend who had a garage so I was like okay can my dad like drive my stuff to his house and just dump my stuff there it was so inconvenient like I literally had to call them at work like this is a situation I'm kind of stranded can I come crash at yours for like a few days like find somewhere else and I didn't really want to do this because obviously like <laughs> this wasn't his problem but he was nice enough to like let me stay for a few days um, but it was so inconvenient you know when you like feel like you're in people's way and you just want your own space and you feel like you're an inconvenience even though they didn't say they don't say that you are but I just wanted to get out so much I was literally going to different viewings, looking for places, looking for houses, flats, like that flat was so ideal, it was in the really an amazing location like zone 2, if you know about London and zones, zone 2, that's pretty close to central, it was amazing, it was a good price, the room was massive, like my room was huge, like they even had sofas in there, so like it was so ideal, and then you know I had to find somewhere more like out of desperation because I didn't want to keep living, you know, crashing at my friends and sort of feel like I was an inconvenience and I, I had things to do, I had films, to, I had videos to make, I had things to do, I had to be settled. I came to London for a reason, to develop my and progress my career and everything and just, I wanted the change. I was really like feeling very depressed at home because a lot of things I wanted, I couldn't achieve at home. Like I hated, I hated the background, I hated the location, I hated not being able to sort of give as much as I wanted to my videos. I don't know if you could tell, I just didn't, I wasn't as enthusiastic about making videos just because of my location and my situation. Wanting to move, I've been wanting to move for so long and having all these setbacks and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just, <laughs> I was just so down for a while. 
like I felt like I had to film by it was like it was like I was being forced to film so you could kind of not see the passion in my videos I don't know if you if, if you tell but I definitely could tell and I'm sure some of you could tell too um, so I really really wanted to move and just the fact that things are so much better here although where I'm living right now isn't where I'd like to live it's London but it's further out from central so that's the only downside of this place it's a house so um, I was so excited to do like a house tour but I won't be living here for like long term probably for like six months and I'm gonna find somewhere else because I feel like it's just too far to travel I, I hate traveling like far to get to places it's really like I feel like it's really far to travel I just don't like the fact that it's just too far from central but um, I'm so happy and grateful that I was able to find somewhere because it was getting so so frustrating and not being able to film and do anything and just be like MIA wasn't you know wasn't great for me either but um, I'm happy to be in London though I am still a northerner a Manchester girl at heart I will never ever forget that I am actually a northerner so but I love the fact that I'm in London I, so many people live here all my friends live here most of my friends live here and there's just so much more opportunities and I don't get to miss events and stuff because I have to get the train back to Manchester or I'm just too far and I don't get to miss out on meetings and business related stuff so I'm so so happy and um, to be honest, I wouldn't even be here. I wouldn't have made the move without you guys. Like you guys have obviously been supporting me, my channel and everything. And I've been able to, um, you know, save up and move out. A lot of people think it's my first time of moving out of my parents' house, but I lived away from uni. I lived away at uni for four years. So I've been away from home, like my family home. Um, but this feels different because this is like a, it feels like a fresh start, like a new city, a big city because London is huge. Um, so it feels a lot different than it did when I moved moved out of my house uh, to uni, university. So um, yeah, just thank you so much for the support and the continued support. Even though I don't film, I haven't been filming frequently and consistently. Um, that has also been obviously something I had to try and deal with quietly because it's not very nice not to see, you know, progress but I'm hoping for better things now that I've moved now that I'm in a nicer place and I feel so much more happy and more content I'll have more of a motivation to want to film so I want to start a schedule I know I mentioned a schedule before and I didn't stick to it but I feel like now that I have no excuse I have a nicer background a nicer environment I want to do like a, a scheduled video upload so maybe this will probably help you guys to watch out for my videos because some of you don't even know when I post videos so like I think it's due with maybe the fact that you just don't expect me to have a video up so if I have like a schedule then you guys will know that a video is coming out on this day so you look out for it so I'm thinking of just doing two a week for now and then if I see how, if that goes well I can maybe make it up to three but I don't want to film like I don't want to run out of content basically so I'll probably just stick to two for now and then see how that goes and then if not I and if it, if it goes well I could do like a, a bonus video so I was thinking of Tuesdays and Thursdays and if it goes well I could probably add a Sunday as well so for now it will be Tuesdays and Thursdays so expect a video on those two days so yeah, um, what else happened lately? Oh, I went to the States as well. I didn't make a video. I was supposed to make a video about the fact that I was coming to America, but I just, it didn't go up. I made the video, but it just didn't go up. But um, I did tweet about it. I also had Instagram, you know, post and pictures and videos and stuff like that. So I went to America. I went to Atlanta and New York, and it was amazing. For those who don't know, that, that was my first time of going to the, to the, to the States, and I was just like, I felt like such a tourist and because I watched a lot of US videos, like US YouTubers, so I was like, oh my god, that's Macy's, that's Ulta, that's Walgreens, and it's it was so cool. Um, so And oh my god, I met a lot of the YouTubers as well, which was so amazing. Like, I was literally like a screaming subscriber, like, so um, that was cool. I did vlog. But you know me, I'm just like not the best at vlogging, like I've tried. I even got a new camera, which is not here, it's over there. I was going to show you the other camera that flips over, the Sony one. I actually bought that as well on the day I was flying out. 
and I did vlog but there wasn't much speaking so if I you know try and edit the video and see if it looks good I will just probably do like a vlog video or maybe split it into, split it into two if not I'm sorry but I'll try because I did I did try and do something I didn't just go and not film at all I just didn't do like a proper like hi so I'm going here I'm doing this I just did a lot of like footage of the uh, oh the reason why I went to America I went for a um, I had two meets and greets in ACL in New York and it was um, kind of put together and sponsored by Lola's Hair. I'm sure you've probably heard about Lola's Hair because a lot of uh, a lot of YouTubers have done like reviews like um, Love of Fashion, um, Lakia Star. I met Love of Fashion, I met Lakia Star, I met Peak Mill, Peak Mill. I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> I love that girl so much. She's like, you are so amazing. I just, I just want to say you're amazing. I mean, you're all amazing, but Peak Mill, I just love her energy. I love how she doesn't care. She can be as aff as she wants, you know, and not feel like, oh, maybe not. But she's just so free. And I love that about her. And I wish, I kind of wish I was like that. Because, like, I look at myself in YouTube and I'm just like, I watch my videos. I'm like, this is not me. Like, this is not, like, if some, for those who know me personally know that I'm a lot more, like, outgoing than just, like, I'm not as serious as I make myself out to be on YouTube so she just kind of made me feel like she's inspired me to like try and come out of this hi guys so today's video is gonna be like I just feel like I need some more energy like I need to show that side to me that I normally have when I'm not on camera uh, so yeah I met um, Tierra Monet I met Chana Renee um, who else I met uh, who else did I meet? Morgan. It was just like, oh gosh, it was so amazing. Like, seeing them in person, it just felt like they jumped, like, literally stepped out of like, the screen. Like, it was so surreal. And they were honestly so, so nice. Like, really nice girls, lovely, friendly girls in person. And I, it's a shame that I, really didn't, I didn't stay too long in ATL, but I'm hoping to come back and, you know, go out with you girls and just hang out a bit more. But New York was so much fun, like, we had the meet and greet, honestly, thank you guys for coming out, because it was so overwhelming. I've never really done a meet and greet, I mean, I did one when I went to Paris, but that was, like, nothing compared to the ones I did in America. Like, you guys were so nice, and meeting, I have a lot more subscribers based in the US than I do in the UK and other countries, so it was, I didn't ever think I'd ever get a chance to go across the pond and meet you guys. I meet the UK, my UK followers, you know, every day, because they're around, but um, having to go to America and, you know, meet you, it was just so amazing. I'm so happy that you guys even came down and been so nice, I had so many nice things to say, and I took photos and just chatted, and the Q&As while, um, Oh, sorry, I have a headache. I always feel really hungry when I'm filming. I have a serious headache, but I'm gonna try and just keep going. And the venue was amazing. The New York venue was like in a hotel, um, and it had a rooftop. It was a really nice penthouse. It was amazing. And um, yeah, what else am I gonna say? I just feel like this is like a rambling video. I'm sorry, but. I just feel so, so blessed and so, so thankful that you guys have not even gotten bored with me over the past few years and people who've been watching from day one, like people traveling like eight hours just to get to New York and it's just so crazy, like, I just sometimes feel like, what is all the fuss about? Like, I don't even feel like I deserve the stuff sometimes and it's just it's so nice I'm not gonna cry don't worry it's just so nice to kind of hear things like that because I do feel sometimes I do get discouraged like you know since I make sometimes I make videos it feels like I've taken so much time I've even like not even slept and I put a video up and it doesn't get the feedback or get the response I want and it's just like I spend all this time on a video but it's nice to know when people appreciate stuff and say these things to you in person and, and it seems genuine and everything so it makes you want to like keep going and keep re um, keep giving out and you know trying to help them wherever they can so um, one of the questions at the Q&A was um, plans for your channel and I just feel like I have a lot of videos like I think I have like 500 videos but I just want to know what you guys want to see more of now I feel like a bit now I feel like I'm, I'm a bit more 
free in making videos now um i want to bring up more of my personality i want to bring up more of jenny because that's me and i feel like i'm not really i haven't really shown i maybe bits and bobs here and there in videos and i want to bring out that you know to you guys because i feel like i want to be able to i want to be able to relate to you guys a lot more um, not just give you info and give you tutorials and how to but kind of just share with you like my what makes me me if that makes sense just more my personality really and hopefully um, it would help a lot as well my videos so um, I'm hoping to have more of that more of my jenniness hopefully more vlogs I feel like I will, honestly, I will try. It's. It, I think it takes specific people, a special person to be able to vlog on their own, on the street. It takes a really like confident, secure person. And I haven't quite gotten there yet, but I mean, when I'm with people, it's fine. But I do want to do more vlogs and like more like day in the life of me and just my daily life and what I get up to. Now that I'm in London, there's always something to do, somewhere to go. So I will try and do more vlogs as well. I don't want to take myself too seriously because I don't take myself seriously in like when I'm off camera so I want to try and merge those two sides to me together still being like professional and stuff but also having that fun side so hopefully you guys see more of that and yeah what else can I say I'm back and I'm hoping to be more scheduled and more consistent in my videos so you guys can um, look out for more videos basically so yeah um so let me know what you want to see more of what you want to see less of i don't mind thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys